yo, yo. Sorry for the wind. Today, everyone, we are going to head to Home Depot. I have a really good idea for using extended stakes in water. So, using extended stakes for full body decoys. I haven't been to Home Depot yet. I don't even, I have an idea of what I'm looking for. We're just gonna head that way and see if, see if we can find what the heck we're looking for. So, quick rundown. The reason why I got this idea was thanks to Austin. Y'all know and love Austin. Austin's dad, when I was up in Nebraska with Flair and everybody, he was like, hey, I've had a good idea to use extended stakes for full body water applications. So you can get, so basically you can use your, those full bodies that you're usually only able to use on land. Now you can use them in a little deeper water situation. So we're gonna head and see if we can find the right type of rod or stake that I'm looking for that we can cut and, and you know, kind of manipulate a little bit to help and see if this will work. Let me tell you what, the cold has arrived. Right now it says it's about 50 degrees and we have a steady like 15 to 18 mile an hour north wind. Oh, railroad tracks in the old three quarter ton. I guarantee you the wind chill has it down into the mid to low 40s. I, that windy, that, 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 is, that is chilly right there. But as most of you waterfowlers are, I am freaking welcoming in this cold weather. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Where are we headed? Where are we headed? I don't know. But we about to find out. Let me find what we're looking for here and I will get right back with you guys. I know what I'm looking for. Let me find where we're going here and I'll get right back with you guys. All right, guys, this is what I found so far. I found wooden dowel rods. These are about the size we're gonna need, but they are wooden. I really didn't want wooden, so I'm gonna keep looking around. These are $1.58 each. They should be around four foot long. I'm gonna keep looking around, see if we can find something maybe a little cheaper, a little better. Here we have some steel rods. They're about the same length, about four, three to four foot in length. But these bad boys are two seventy-seven a piece. That's about the size that you could get away with. If you go any bigger, they start getting <laughs> a lot more expensive a lot more quickly. So we're gonna keep looking around. We hit the freaking jackpot. Found what I was looking for right here these bad boys right here look at that 317 it's a six pack and each of them all six are 72 inches long per so what these are are bamboo this is what I was told about this is what I was originally told to use and I finally found them thank god I found these so I'll get a bunch more three dollars and 27 cents is that what I said I get way more so we're gonna buy these I'm gonna go home measure them out we're gonna chop them and see about making us some decoy steaks some extended ones to put over water for our full bodies I am freaking excited I didn't think I was gonna find these things I want to chop them to a usable size to where they're still really long and you can get those full body decoys in the deeper water now one pack of these, this was actually, guys, $3.46. That is tax and all out the door. So $3.46, even if you want to chop these into normal, you know, replacement steaks and sharpen the ends of them just for your regular, you know, length of steak, that would still be a great idea because you're going to get a bunch of them out of just one package for three freaking bucks. Now, they are bamboo. I don't know how bamboo does in water for extended periods of time, but you know, you only hunt for two, three hours, and those steaks are only in there for two, three hours. You take them out and they dry out. So, I don't know how bamboo reacts to water, but we sure will find out. What's great about these being 72 inches is there's a lot of you out there with farm ponds or cattle ponds that, you know, maybe the banks just drop off 
really soon, you know, you only get two, three foot out and it just gets, you know, four or five foot. For you fellas, that, that's, this is what is good for, for your case because you can cut these whatever length you need. If you need four foot poles to get your full bodies out of the water because your pond just drops off that quickly once it gets away from the bank, just, you know, just a couple feet. In actual circumstances, you would have just been able to use those decoys on the ground or in fields or on up on the bank. So this is just a little advantage for kind of anybody and everybody with deeper waters. Oh, we are back in the garage here. We're gonna open these bad boys up and get a look at them. Suckers are almost just as tall as I am. Now, the deal with these, man, these are pretty strong. Uh, I'm not too familiar with uh, bamboo, but it looks like this is really going to work pretty well. It's really solid, man. This stuff is pretty strong. So we're going to fire up the old saw here and get to chopping. I think I'm going to just chop these bad boys, some of them in half. And I might even keep some pretty long just to see how flimsy they are. So let's get to cutting. Make sure you always wear your safety glasses when cutting stuff. For three dollars and some cents for this many of them, you really can't complain about that. The only thing that kind of sucks is with this bamboo, is as you can see, is the, at the top of the bamboo how it grows, it's obviously a lot thinner on this half compared to this half. Now this half is just perfect for steaks and should work beautifully. This one is a little flimsy but really sturdy still. So you kind of get with each of these you kind of get a skinnier one and a thicker one. Yeah that worked. That cut just like wood so not too bad if that'll focus. That should work. Alrighty well this leaves us with four steaks. Uh, I don't think I'm going to cut any more. I'm going to wait and, and leave these you know, in case I get on a pond that's a little deeper and I want to have a little longer ones, I don't want to go chopping all these up. But for $3.47 friggin' cents, you can buy bags and bags of these things and get you a bunch of replaceable steaks. They're not going to be as strong as the originals, but I'll tell you what, these things are going to work, especially, you know, on land or, you know, on field hunts that the ground is actually a little softer. They're, they're, they would definitely work. So let's go try these bad boys and see how they look. Alrighty, I brought the waders because we are here at the pond and I want to get out there a ways and see how far out these uh, stakes will work. Now like I said, you can cut your stakes to however length, whatever length you need for your particular depth of pond. I brought a full body avian goose decoy uh, just because I wanted to use a heavier decoy to test these stakes to see how flimsy they were and today by god there's a ton of wind it's extremely windy today it's like 15 mile an hour steady with 20 mile an hour over gusts so it's going to test these little stakes pretty well but i'm going to move the camera out here the wind's going to be extremely bad so bear with me so we're going to test both i got the skinny and the thicker steak gonna wait on out here I know it gets deeper you know not too fast this is a normal pond it's got a lot of silt in the bottom of it so let's see how this works out Ooh, that's got a lot of silt Ooh, I don't want to go out too far nice whoa That is our skinny steak. That's the skinny one, that's the weaker one, and man, it's spinning around, it looks great. I, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So yeah, this actually looks really good. Uh, this bottom's really soft, a lot softer than I figured it might be, so um, it seems to work. Uh, I, on this silty of a bottom, if you have a really, really silty pond, leave them longer than I did. These are about two and a half foot long I would probably leave them about four foot long three and a half foot long but this one's holding up and it's spinning around it's looking pretty good so 
that's a win-win situation already. I really don't even have to use the thick one because the thick one's gonna actually work better than that one. Yet again, I do recommend you leave your steaks a little longer than what I cut them if you do have a silty, soft bottom. As you can see, I got the decoy off the bank probably a good 15 or more feet. So, this, guys, is a good trick to using, to being able to use your full body decoys for water, you know, deep water purposes. Obviously, this is not going to work with like Bigfoot decoys or a, a different decoy that actually has uh, a built-in stand, like having the feet part of the stand. But for any type of decoy that has the regular circle insert in the bottom that accepts, you know, a normal stake, these bamboo stakes will work. But guys, stick around because we're going to be doing a bunch more DIYs out here with stuff like this. We're going to do some spread videos coming right at you, so be looking out for those. I know you guys have been requesting those small body water decoy spread videos. But I thought this was a great idea that would save you guys a bunch of money. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like these type of videos. If you like this one in particular, drop me that thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't because we're going to be out here doing these videos, teaching you guys what to do, learning myself, and having epic hunts together. Thanks for coming along, y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I'll put my